Singleness is not preparation for marriage. Marriage and singleness are preparation for glory. There's a couple fundamental things I want to talk about in this video. Number one is the fact that for me, okay, and maybe you've been the same in the same way, a lot of life um, points to marriage. A lot of aspects like career, you want to get a good career because you want to be able to support a family. You want to be um, a mature Christian because you want to be able to be in a mature relationship. You want to be in a solid Solid church because you want a nice place for your family ultimately to be and to grow up in their faith. A lot of our life or how we live our life seems to point to marriage, seems to point to this one time when, you know, maybe you're in your 20s or in your 30s or in your 40s or whenever, you're going to meet somebody and you're going to get in a relationship and you're going to get engaged and you're going to get married and then bingo, it was all worth it. The it happened that is the summit all that stuff that you're doing in terms of career in terms of spiritual growth in terms of mature just personal development it all pays off because now you're in a nice wonderful relationship and you're happy and there's just great meaning there and that is great and that's wonderful and maybe you too you bought into this idea that that's kind of how it works that's maybe not the main point but it is a big point but here's the thing here is the biggest thing, and this is probably the biggest problem, is we treat singleness as preparation for marriage. And could it be? Can it be? Yes and yes. But that is not its primary purpose. Being single is not just a stage in which you are waiting to become married. Because if that were the case, then people that are married, they got nowhere else, nothing's left. They've reached the summit. But that's not true either. Singleness is primarily preparation for glory, to be glorified with Christ, to become more and more formed into the image of Christ. That is the purpose. It's that idea of sanctification, growing more and more like the Savior. Because if we forget that, and all of a sudden marriage is kind of the, the pinnacle, now it's not having that perfect intimate relationship with Christ ultimately when we are when he comes back no it's it's this idea that hey you know we want to be you know nice and we want to be uh, prepared and mature and financially ready until we can get in this this thing which is the goal which is marriage and then we'll be that's it that's the goal I know I'm rambling here but what I'm saying is that if we prepare for marriage as if we're preparing for a savior right in the bible it talks about presenting ourselves blameless and pure before god right that like tons of verses are about being holy as god is holy presenting ourselves as as living sacrifices to god if we treat our future spouse as if they are that savior and we are working in order to be mature be spiritually uh mature in order to be pure in order to present ourselves to our future spouse as blameless and pure, we're going to be fundamentally disappointed. This is the reason, because if we expect or if we treat them like a savior and we find out that they're not actually that savior, our world will be shattered. Because even though we realize that Jesus is the ultimate savior, we act like our future spouse will be our savior, our savior from our problems, our savior from our loneliness, our savior from our sadness. When, in fact, they can provide none of that, right? They can provide none of that. And if we put those expectations on there or prepare as if that is our mission, we are preparing for marriage and not fundamentally preparing for Christ and, and, and moving more and more into the image of Christ as our primary goal, we will be, uh, we will be so off, off the, the, the right path it will just lead to so much crap and we're doing like i don't know if like for me i think i bought into this too right and as a single person right you're in this mindset that uh some things are out of whack and some things are you know it's just not it doesn't feel right it's not everything's not put together maybe you still feel lonely you still feel sad sometimes maybe you're just more of an anxious person too Maybe you're dealing with some other problems and you're just like, you know what? I wish I could just find that person and all the, that stuff would kind of go away and they would fix all that. What we're doing is we're placing on our future spouse like a savior complex, right? This idea that they will, they will be our deliverer from these things when in fact they can do none of that, right? So 
here's the here's the mission here's the goal right it's to understand what i said at the beginning right it's this idea that singleness is not just preparation for marriage singleness and marriage whether you're watching this and you're single or married those are both preparations for glory to be glorified with christ right and also up on top of that are avenues to glorify christ i think this plays into a lot of the stress and anxiety associated with like finding a spouse okay or or however you think that that happens okay <clears throat> because i think sometimes we'll put so much so many expectations on what that future person is going to be like that we we crush any person that 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 maybe you know seems like could be a possibility but we have all these expectations not built on scripture, but built on this savior complex that we have thinking that, look, the, the, I've been preparing, I've been presenting, I've been ready to present myself blameless and pure before my, my spouse. I, I've been, I've been, you know, doing all the right things. I've been working. I've been all, you know, all this kind of thing. And you have these expectations that because that is what you've done, now you deserve a certain thing. But you know what that is? That is all law. That is all law. That is no grace. There's no gospel in that. If it's just this idea that our future spouse is a savior and we need to work, 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 and then we are owed something from them, which in fact they cannot deliver, that is a huge mess. That is a huge mess. We want to be holy, obviously, but we can't be perfectly, no right? That's why we need the gospel. That's why when you see these, when you do happen to be in a relationship, you understand these are two broken people that need so much grace. It's crazy, right? Just think about yourself. Step down from your high horse for a second and just remember, man, we're not that special. We're not that great. You know, we all need a lot of help, a lot of work. And when you go into a relationship, when you have a spouse, that person doesn't have the capabilities to save you from your problems. They don't have the capabilities to save you from your mental issues. They don't have the capabilities to save you from your sadness or depression or any of that. They don't have that. The main purpose of marriage is reflecting the beauty of Jesus and the church, right? That is the symbolic nature of uh, marriage is this idea that look, the bride is the bride of Christ, the church, and Jesus lays his life down for the church. The groom lays his life down for the wife. Like this is an amazing, amazing picture of the gospel. And yet we have treated it <laughs> and almost taken it in, in into a, like a really heretical place where we've uh, not understood it as kind of a symbolic nature, but we've thought, no, actually my spouse is gonna be my savior. They are gonna be perfect or they are gonna save me from the things that that are wrong in my life, which is not true. Okay, I think that's all I have to say. I wanna give a huge shout out to everyone on Patreon, all the Daily Disciple Club members. Uh, Daily Disciple Club members are people that are passionate about Jesus and support me in my mission to help other people follow Jesus daily. And so I, I'm just so grateful to everyone on the Daily Disciple Club. And if you wanna help support my mission and ministry, head on over to dailydisciple.ca slash club and you can join the daily disciple club give this video a like if you enjoyed it and uh, make sure you subscribe because i'm putting out new videos every single thursday thanks so much for watching guys and i will see you next time